Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Wizardry Workshop. It is Ron Weasley's birthday today, uh, March 1st. He was born March 1st, 1980, so that would have made Ron 41 years old today, which that would be, what do you think Ron would even look like? He's, I guess he's getting close to that age during that like final scene. But yeah, in this video, we're gonna have a quick and easy tutorial for Ron's birthday for a DIY project. And then Noble Collection also sent me some things specifically for Ron's birthday to celebrate Ron's birthday. And honestly, in Harry Potter, in the series, I can relate with Harry, but I really feel more of a kinship with Ron Weasley. So he's one of my favorite characters and I mean, I didn't grow up having like a huge family or anything. I had three siblings, two sisters and one brother. But from uh, the age nine and into my early teens, my family didn't really have a whole bunch of money. We didn't have much money at all during that time. Um, when I used to live in California up until I was nine. And um, yeah, my, my dad had a good job there, but uh, the company went bankrupt, so he lost that job and we had to move to Indiana where uh, his parents lived and we moved in with my grandparents for a little while. And yeah, for a while there, we were just living there Didn't it, until my dad and mom got some uh, more money from their jobs, obviously, and we found a house and moved into a house. But for a while there, it was pretty rough and um, I know what it's like uh, going to school and being picked on for the, that reason because your family doesn't have much money and then also feeling a little envious of friends even though you know they're really good friends they don't treat you badly but sometimes you feel a little envious of friends because they might have it a little better off than you but yeah that was that's just a little uh, backstory of me and how I can kind of relate to Ron and yeah, anyways, happy birthday, Ron. Let's get into this DIY. So we're gonna be making party hats for the Chudley Cannons, which I designed these thinking, this is probably exactly what Ron would want uh, for his birthday party to be Chudley Cannons themed. First, you're just gonna wanna cut off all the white space from around this. And there we go. I've always wanted to do that snap magical snap thing, so I finally got to do it. <laughs> um, I thought it would just be silly if you guys watched me cut this out with scissors. Yeah, there's a little tab here, and as you can see, you're gonna wanna cut a little bit in there. You'll be able to see it on the template, and you're gonna wanna cut a little bit in here. There's black lines all the way around. There's also a black line right here. You're gonna wanna uh, put a slit in there too. So you're gonna wanna roll it up and put that tab through that little slit. So if we just first roll it up a little bit, just so it, it starts to take the shape of, of the cone party hat. And then we're going to put the tab through just like this. There we go. So now you have the party hat shape there. And if you want, you can take a piece of tape and tape it down just to make sure it stays. But I think this is gonna stay. And then from there, you can do an elastic cord to strap it on. Um, you know, if you've ever worn a party hat, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We're just gonna staple it on here. But um, I didn't have any elastic cord. However, I do have masks, just like all of us probably do, disposable masks that I've already used and they're, I'm just gonna toss them away because they're already used. Um, and they have these elastic cords. So I thought, why waste that when we can just use it for our DIY projects? So I saved it and I'm going to use it. I'm gonna cut both of these off and then we are going to just tie them together, put a knot right here. So now we have this and then we are just going to staple it in right here. All I have is this huge long reach stapler, so that's what I'm gonna use. You could also try taping it in if you want, but I think the staples will hold it a bit better. Maybe I'll do both. So now that is stapled in, and I should be able to just wear this like a normal party hat. So happy birthday, Ron. Let's get into opening up these uh, gifts that the Noble Collection sent over. So I know a couple of things that they sent. However, there was also this box that says see inside and I'm not quite sure what's in here. So let's open this one up first. 
And if you don't know who the Noble Collection is, they do some really great replicas from movies such as Harry Potter, but they also do stuff from Lord of the Rings. And they did a Jumanji board replica, which I got, and it's amazing. But anyways, let's see what's in this little box. Okay, so there's a little black box in there. And it has a little sticker. Products inspired by the world of Harry Potter, the Noble Collection. Oh, okay, and that says Harry Potter on it in like a silver foil there. And then there's this little black bag. So we're going to open that up and see what's in there too, obviously. Uh-oh, I think I know what this one is. <laughs> I didn't know what this one is the, um, when I, I got something similar in a subscription box. I didn't understand it, but yeah, this is the Sweetheart necklace. It doesn't have, it doesn't say like my sweetheart on it anywhere, but this is the necklace that uh, Lavender Brown sent Ron for Christmas. So that's what that is. So there's our first item. So next, this was actually supposed to be Ron Weasley's wand. However, they were totally out. They apologized and they said they would send me whoever's wand that I want um, in, in, instead of Ron's. So here we go. It's a really nice box. Let's open it up. Very good presentation there. And it is Sirius Black's wand. I love Sirius Black's wand. Um, I had, uh, past tense, had a uh, Sirius Black's wand that wasn't a Noble Collection one. Um, I don't know if it was even <laughs> like a licensed one or anything, but yeah, it just was so cheap and it snapped in half. Um, so this is great. I get to replace it and I already have Ron's wand. So it wasn't really a big deal that they didn't have any in stock. This is the noble collection Ron's, uh, Ron Weasley wand. So this is what they, what I would have gotten in that box. It works out better that they didn't have any of these because now I have a replacement for my um, Sirius Black Wand. And we'll uh, set it over here. So that's item number two right there. And then we have this box, the film artifact box for Ron Weasley. So we've got this really cool looking box art here. I think this is probably the stuff that's going to be in there right here. Um, yeah, you can see on the back, this is what's going to come in the box. Very cool. We're going to open this up. So yeah, it's actually a really cool design. I like how they did the uh, design work for the box. We'll open it up. And, oh cool, it's got like a Marauder's Map style uh, inside pattern. These are cool. I've seen these. These are the Weasley's Wizard Weezes betting tickets. These are both number fives, just different color schemes. And if we take a look at the back, here's what it looks like. It has all the different uh, things you can fill in for your bet. That's really cool, I like these. Next up we have a Gryffindor patch, of course because Ron was, a, or is, was a Gryffindor. And then we have this little scroll here. I'm guessing this is a poster of some kind. <laughs> yes, perfect, it goes along with the hat. This is a Chudley Cannons poster. And uh, I'm gonna have to flatten this out, but there are sides here that open up like this. There we go, after some struggling, I got this unrolled. So here's what it looks like. I'm gonna flatten it out even more so that it, it looks better, but this is awesome. And I'm definitely putting that up on my wall. That's so cool. And then we'll take a look at this screaming yo-yo. Whoa, there's more stuff in here, more tickets too. I didn't realize there were more betting tickets. Anyways, here's the screaming yo-yo uh, print. Is it a print or is it a sticker? I can't really tell. I think it's just a print, like a print on, on this really thick cardboard. Either way, it's a really cool print. We'll set that one over there and continue on. We've got a howler. It's got to be. I mean, it's it, this. This is what the Howler um, label looked like when it was sent to Ron. Only the Howler was supposed to be red. But let's see. Yes, this is the Howler letter. All right. 
And here, this is, I knew this was in here, and this one's really cool. This is the Quidditch World Cup map of the campsite. Um, and it opens up like this. This is like a cardstock outside here, pretty thick. And oh, this, this is also cardstock here. Here we go. Open it up, and it flips, it kind of like pops open like a, uh, like a pop up book. So there is the campsite map. That's cool. This is probably going to be my favorite thing in there. We'll set that aside. Oh, there's another random bedding slip. We'll put that there. And then there's one thing left, Dumbledore's chocolate frog card. And it says all about Dumbledore there on the back. This is cool. The cool thing about this, it's kind of small, but I think this is probably about the right size. Um, but the cool thing about this is it has the original Dumbledore <laughs> uh, photo right here. And that's kind of a hard photo to come by, or you don't see it very often is what I mean. And that is everything that came in this box. Loved it. This is just a lot of really cool stuff. And it's right up my alley. I like things that I can display that look like they just came directly out of the wizarding world. And that's exactly what the Noble Collection does. So I would suggest if you were looking for um, prop replicas, check out the Noble Collection. But anyways, that's it guys. I hope you like the DIY and the unboxing. Let's all say happy birthday to Ron Weasley one last time, and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Just like that, guys.